Hello, welcome to the first part of the professional e-commerce website tutorial series. Okay, in this series, you're going to learn how to add product to cart, uh, view your cart product descriptions, as well as edit cart products. Okay, um, if you have, if you don't know how to create a login or registration system in PHP, make sure you watch my previous video. The link is right there in the description box. Watch that playlist because I won't be talking much on it, okay, in this uh, tutorial. All right, so let's dive into the code right away. This is the complete source code of the e-commerce website, okay, but for this series, I'm just going to be teaching what I did, how I added product to cart, viewed cart product, and as well as edit cart product, okay? So I'll be working with this uh, file, cart, the index page, um the then the view card okay all right this is the different product files the images of the different products we have in the cards okay so let's head over to our code editor all right um this is my database connection database name of what e-commerce okay uh, this is the database name and the different tables that i have customer transaction products reset passwords and users okay uh, should in case you need uh, all the source code, I only set source code to my subscribers, okay, those that support me. So if you haven't subscribed, do so by hitting that subscribe button, okay. So if you need the source code of all these uh, tutorial, please let me know in the comment section. I'll send them to you. Okay, um, in the index page, the first thing I did in this uh, index page is to search section and included my database file. Okay, and the, this statement means if it is not empty, the session with index name of what email, if it is not empty, okay, this checks if the user is logged in or not. So if it is empty, that means the user is not logged in, okay, and this session email is coming from the login page, okay. Remember, uh, once the user logs in, okay, it has a what session with index name of email with the value of what at email. This at email is coming from this variable, the post variable. Okay, the input field with email uh, name. All right, so this is where it's coming from. I'm not going to go into much this. I've already made a tutorial of user registration and login system. I have the playlist in the description box. So when we go back, um, so if it is not empty, I define the variable, call it email, and pass this uh, value, this session value to this email variable. Okay, so I what I did here is to fetch the last name and the first name from the database. Okay, select last name, f name from users where the email is equal to at email. So if the rows is greater than zero, that means it exists. I used a while loop to fetch it. I got the last name and the first name. Okay, so um, these two variables, this is where I echoed it out. Okay, this is where I echoed it out. So if it's not empty, echo what this string welcome and the last name and the first name of the user. Okay, that's why I have here. Um, as you can see, I'm not logged in. So it says you are not logged, you are not signed in. So else it will what echo you are not signed in. Okay. So that is just uh, also if it is empty, it will echo sign in. That's what I have here, sign in. So if it else, that means it is not, it is not echo sign out. So when you click on this sign out, it will go to this link logout.php where I will destroy the sessions. Okay, um, the next part is this. Um, so this is the code that deals with adding products to the cart, okay, uh, from a post field. So it's coming from a form. Once a button is being pushed, the add to cart button I will be showing you. So this is the button with type submit. So when this button is being pushed, add to cart, okay, uh, it is in a form with method post action empty meaning is to be submitting to itself in this same page, okay. So I have an uh, input. Uh, field here will type hidden so you can see that in the browser with index name of what code value is actual code so this actual code is coming from what is being fetched from the database okay so this script here fetches all the products from the database okay 
and echoes it out okay passing this uh, variable at row so it will get the row name at row with the index name from the database echo it out it also echo the price and as well as this so i added times two here to increase the price meaning that 50 percent is off so this time two gave us 500 so the actual price for this product is 250 dollars so times it by two it will increase it so this is more like showing that there's a discount okay from the products all right so once this button is being pushed it will check if it is not empty the value of this uh, code index name so that's what we have right here so it said post code name and post code name if it is not empty so as you can see it can never be empty because we are fetching the products from the database just in case if it is not there and we echo the value sorry i have to go down again i code the value there to this value attributes so the code value i, I code it out there all right so once that is being pushed once this condition is true then the rest of these codes will run so first of all i define a variable call it code which gets the post code of the product okay remember uh this index name code is coming from the database which is very unique it's a unique id code as we can see here uh, every product for example the first one which main backpack has a code id of what back zero one is unique to this product the same goes to this and that and the rest of it okay it's unique so um here i have a query here that selects every product from select every uh, item from products table where the code index code this code is what equals arch code so arch code is this all right so if it was um, this code was pushed it will get what it will fetch the value here all right so from there i got the name the code okay the price from the database then the image as well because i also have the image in the table and here this variable cat array fetches uh puts all the fetched variables in array okay with a unique id variable of what arch code all right so here i have the name the code and what the price and the quantity so the quantity is being set to a uh, integer of what one so once a product is being added to cart it counts it as one all right initially so that's what it is so after that um this statement checks if it if it is empty session shopping cart okay uh this checks if the product is being added or not so the session shopping cart if it is empty that means uh, the product is not added to cart it, it will not add to cart and prevent uh, page from refreshing so that's where this code comes from i echo the javascript code um, return for so the, what this does uh, it prevents the page from refreshing okay if you watched my demo example you see where i when i added product to cart the page didn't refresh so that's why i echoed this out else then i now added the, sh uh, the shopping cart products remember all the products has been stored in this session of what index name of what shopping cards shopping underscore cards okay with an array underscore keys function all right so the next step is i checked if it is an array the arch code this unique id okay it will check if it is in this array keys if it is in this session stored in this session okay if it is there that means the product is being added it's already added okay that's why i have this so i define a variable call it array already added okay that is why this echoed out once i push the button again to echo our product is already added to cart okay this is just a bootstrap class else the session shopping cards uh if there's any value there it is being matched to this variable 
I don't underscore merge, I split two parameter, this uh, first one and the second one. So it checks that too, okay? So if all these are not true, it will also add product to the cart, echoing this art, which prevents pro, uh, the page from refreshing, all right? So this array variable, array added echoes out here, okay? For example, um, if you go back here again, add product to cart, product is being added, added to cart again. Um, what's going is to show product is already added to cart. So after some seconds, it hides. I'll show you what does that. So if it is not empty function, the, R, uh, the already added variable, it will echo it out. If it is not empty, but if it is empty, it will not so it will be hidden so once i scroll down here um this is the jquery uh script that hides uh the alert okay so this is the selector what it selects is this uh the class of alert so every class starts with a dot sign if it is an id it starts with a hash okay dot delay function so it will delay it up to four seconds then it will slide up after two seconds it will take about two seconds okay then after that it will now close the alert so uh, so that's what this does it doesn't leave it up there okay so um that is just it so this basically deals with everything about adding product to cart. Okay, um, I'm going to show you how you can view the product from the cart icon. All right. Okay, this is where I have the icon. All right, it has a data target of what arch example model because I'm using a bootstrap model that pops up. Okay, once you click on that icon. All right. So um, this script shows the number of products that are in the cart okay the first statement condition here is check if it is not empty the session shopping underscore cart remember um, in this side there are two session uh, stored values one checks if you are logged in with index name of email then this one is shopping underscore cart we check the norm the if there's any product in the shopping cart. So if it is not empty that means there are products in the shopping cart okay uh, with that logic so after that this count function counts the number of the product that are in array okay using the array underscore keys so the keys there is what that the arch code that's been merged so it counts the number of it if it is up to two it shows up two. okay so it will echo what cat underscore count variable if it is not yeah if it is empty the session because all this exclamation mark if it is not so if it is empty to echo zero that means there is no product in the shopping uh, cart icon all right so i'm going to show you the model remember uh, this button has a data target of what example model okay so i'm going to show you the model when you scroll down okay this is the model okay this is the id Okay, once that is pushed, it goes for this ID and pops up. This is a bootstrap class, okay? Just like I said earlier, I won't be teaching you anything uh, about the CSS, the bootstrap, or the HTML. All right? So, um, that is it. Okay, remember, um, the product that, that had been fetched from the database closed here. This is why I had closed it, and I also closed my database connection as well. Okay, um... From here now, fetching the products uh, inside the model, okay, like we have here. This is where we are now. So what this does is to check if there's any products in the shopping cart. So it sets session shopping underscore cart. So it check if there's any product there, okay. So if that condition is true, it will run the rest of the code. If it is not, so this curly bracket closed right here else it will echo your cart is empty that means there's no product there for example when we head back here okay and let me say 
let's just uh, remove that product from the cart so when i click on this this deletes the product from the cart you can see in the cart page it says your cart is empty go back to shopping cart start shopping and if you view that your cart is empty so this your cart is empty is coming from here all right okay so that is just it so inside it remember this is inside the bootstrap class i have a table okay table class uh with what table strip this is the bootstrap class with the headings of all these all right now using if this condition is true that means if there's product in the cart okay so using for each loop for each session of shopping underscore cart as product so i've passed another variable to it being product if that condition is true it will not echo all the whole products so that's where under this table head for which is photo it will echo the product image uh, next one the name the code keys which is hidden you are not you can't see that and as well as the input type of what action okay so that's where we have all the whole products being displayed all right like here if you add this just added the product to the card and fetch all of these products all right so uh remember this variable that total price i defined it to be zero initial okay now i'm here also fetch the product price okay this is coming from the database uh, from the shopping cart session where i stored all those products so this price is what i have here okay that's the unit price all right so now also the quantity which is usually one initially okay when we go up that's why i had that one so the quantity is one if i update it to be two so i times it with the initial price that is where you will get the uh subtotal all right so since it is one so it remains one then the total price which is coming from here with the initial variable of zero i added it okay i times it with the product quantity all right so that's where you will get this total price to be this 1200 all right so that's just about it now remember um what i have here this means if it is not empty that means there's products in the shopping cart it will show the proceed to check out okay to show this proceed to check out button which has this link and also to show the edit cart button so if it is empty it will not show that that is why it is hidden for example when i come here and remove the product from cart start shopping it will not show the proceed to cart on the edit button so that is what this does so if this condition is if it is not empty if it is not empty that means there is no there is product in the cart it will not show those button but if it is empty it will not show it so this this will not echo out all right so that's just it okay um i think we have taken so much time in this series so we're going to be stopping here all right uh, in my next part you're going to learn how you can be able to view the product as well as edit cards products okay so um don't forget if that subscribe button if the color is still red that means you're not doing the right thing so make sure you smash it real hard and turn on your notification icon bell all right thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one